Hey guys, RCR682K2. Just a very, very quick video to show you guys a feature that we just built. It's pretty cool the way that it works. Uh, I'm just going to show this to you and um, maybe you guys can add this to your realm. I still haven't done the the big sign for it. Um, this, this used to be a fast food restaurant. Um, it wasn't a fast food restaurant for very long. Anyway, we're calling this the Mainland Clothiers, and uh, basically what it is, is we had a player that uh, he said, hey, did you know that you could dye um, leather armor? And I said, no, geez, I wasn't even aware of that, but apparently you can. And so what we did is we got just really a few of the available colors. We dyed these um these uh, leather armors into different colored we got black we got blue we got you know kind of a light blue kind of a dark blue uh maybe pink or purple um red and green and orange over here and so you know you can mix and match these and it looks pretty cool um you know leather offers a little bit of protection um you know people are really into their skins and changing the skin around and stuff but i just thought this was really kind of a neat idea um so you know what we did was we integrated um we integrated a, a command block schema into this shop and uh, basically the way that it works is like this uh, if someone were to come in and you know uh, pay of course obviously someone said I needed to raise the price on this and I'm not really sure you know what I want to do yet because um, one of the players who came up with the actual design and did the work uh, he will be um, collecting uh, the the payments for this. And so I may bump that up to a diamond for four pieces. Um, I just kind of need to think about that. I don't know. We have a system of commerce here. So it's something I need to kind of consider, uh, you know, what goes into it and so on and so forth. But, uh, he, you know, a lot of work went into this. Uh, this is kind of, of one of our players. This is his brainchild. And the way that it works is that uh, you come in and you make a payment. This is uh, connected to a hopper and uh, it goes into a trap chest and the money ends up somewhere else, which is which is kind of cool. Um, the money is not going to get robbed. So that's kind of neat. Um, these are set up to where they automatically populate. So, of course, just like most things in Minecraft, it is on the honor system. Uh, if you come in here, you're expected to pay, you know, and if you don't, then uh, that's on you, I guess. But anyway, um so the way that it works is uh, you just come over and, um, you know, you select uh, one of these items. It pops right out and gives it to you. Okay. And, uh, and it repopulates. Okay. So it pops out and it repopulates automatically. So this will not run out of clothing. And that is a command block that we use to repopulate the items. Um, and although that seems like, okay, great, the guy's going to make money off of something that automatically repopulates, I will tell you, <laughs> it was quite a feat to get this shop up and running. Um, it did take a lot of work. It took a lot of math. It took a lot of blocks. It took a lot of... Um, it took a lot of time and, uh, and and planning, really, to be honest with you. And that's what's crazy about it. It seems so simple, um, but really a lot went into it. So, yeah, that's how this works. Um, so far, you know, we just opened it last night. Um, you know, not many people have really even seen it yet. They, I think they kind of walked by here because uh, they may not know um, that this is no longer uh, the fast food place. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to put a notice up on the info board, just stating that the clothiers is now open. Uh, I did put these a little bit brighter signs right on the front. And so, you know, I think that, um, 
you know, some people will notice it. And of course, I've said to the people that are in there, hey, come take a look at it. It's got a pretty positive response from the few people that have seen it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's our idea for the clothiers. Um, I might do another video showing how we did it and what all is involved in um, getting this set up. Uh, it, it requires, um, you know, a cauldron, requires water, uh, auto population, um, commands, uh, clone commands. Um, there, there is actually a duplicate, uh, well, maybe not a duplicate shop, but there are duplicate blocks set up. Um, and it takes, uh, ink dyes and it does take a recipe in order to get these things dyed to the color that you want. So, um, yeah, man, uh, it, it's pretty cool, but I just wanted to make a, a, just a quick video of that and also to show you guys where it is in the city center. Um, so that, you know, if you do come into dudes world, which you're welcome to do, just leave your gamer tag in the response. Um, you know, we've got the hotel right there. This is, uh, let's see, this would be west of the hotel. Um, and it's right behind the subway entrance. So if you're coming down uh, Main Street here, you see the info board and you see the subway shop uh, or the subway uh, opening there. Just just take a right and then um, it'll be the first shop right here on the left next to uh, Mainland Park. So it's kind of cool. Um, you guys come in and see it. Leave your gamer tag in the reply and I will add you to the realm. RCR 68 2K2 signing out from Dude's World.